Hey guys, welcome back. Ben Crosswhite here and I have Bethany with me. She is gonna help demonstrate. As you can tell, she is the before and after pictures that you see in that thumbnail. And, uh, and it works for her, it's gonna work for you. So these exercises are slimming the waistline down and it's focusing mainly on isometric exercises, not doing concentric or the um, eccentric movements, but the isometric is what's gonna really engage that transverse abdominus, which is the only muscle which is deep down, it's kind of fan-like, and it runs, the fibers are gonna run transverse, so it's the only one that runs across. It acts like a girdle, and it'll pull your waistline in and slimming it up, just like Bethany here. So it will help you, I promise. There's five exercises, Let's get into it. Okay, so this first exercise is a modified version of the plank. Uh, as you can tell, my lovely assistant Bethany here is uh, demonstrating this with the foam roller under her shins. They're closer to the feet than they are the knees. If it's too hard on that lower back and you can't feel a good ab engagement, take the foam roller more towards the knees. But you wanna make sure as well, you wanna get rid of that anterior pelvic tilt. And you wanna go, yep, you wanna rotate the hips like she just did, draw the abs in, and then that's gonna flatten your back out a little bit more. And from here, elbows below shoulders, you're gonna push back very slowly, rolling your shins on that foam roller, keeping the elbows stationary, and then driving back in over the shoulders. Excuse me, over the elbows. We're gonna go forward and back, very slow, very controlled movements. That is what's gonna engage this transverse abdominis, the main muscle that we're trying to work here that will act like a girdle and slim that waistline up. So try to hit at least 15 or 20 reps here. You can do this multiple times throughout the week. Don't feel like you have to limit it just once or twice. Okay, so this one is a bird dog, but it's modified as well. Uh, we have a banner on the foot that's gonna add a little extra tension to that knee. Uh, pulling in, which is gonna engage those lower abs a lot better. Some hip flexor as well, but lower abs. And then also putting pressure here between the elbow and the knee. Uh, I like this size foam roller because it keeps the elbow more above the shoulder, the knee above the hip. And you can tell her elbow's into it. And you see a lot of people that put their forearm into the foam roller, but I like that elbow because it'll lift up the shoulder and it'll cause the rectus abdominis to start engaging a little bit more too. So from this position, go ahead and start Bethany. She's gonna extend the leg out, extend the arm out, and then bringing that elbow back into the knee. Very slow and very controlled, just like all the others. Again, you wanna rotate the pelvis back instead of forward, so it's gonna be a posterior pelvic tilt, and it's gonna flatten the back out, so I shouldn't be able to put my hand under the back. It should be as flat as you can, driving your belly button towards the floor, and that is really gonna give you a lot more intra-abdominal pressure and cause more tension on that transverse abdominis. Perfect, and now we're gonna do a modified version, keeping the knee bent, just tapping the heel to the ground, same motion, but you don't extend the leg. So go ahead and do a couple of those there, Bethany, nice. Keeping that knee bent the whole time, just tapping the heel down, perfect. So this is an exercise that you probably have not thought of for slimming your waistlines. I promise it works. It's called the goblet squat. It's obviously great for your legs, great for your glutes, great for your back, but it is really, really good for your core as a whole, including that transverse abdominis and the obliques. So this position, she has the weight in the front. It's called anterior loaded here with the kettlebell tight to her chest. Uh, I will put a disclaimer out there that if you have a back injury, don't go too heavy. Go really light and don't extend out too far from your body. So she's gonna extend down, she's gonna squat onto the box, very slowly, leaning back completely where her back is vertical, lean back forward into it, and driving up through the legs. Perfect, Bethany, yep, and just repeat that a few times. You can see her back stays nice and straight, steady breathing, intra-abdominal pressure as tight as always, and she's using her core to stabilize and especially to get up from that bottom seat of motion. I like to have, right now we're on an 18 box. Her knees are about box level, which is great. Uh, if you get better at it, you can obviously drop it down a little bit, but it has to be low enough and getting the knees 90 degrees in order to feel a big difference. Okay, so the bad form we're gonna do, I wanna show you this, is sitting and relaxing the spine and the core. So you're slouching when you sit down, you can see her back is rolling, her hips are rotating, and her core is disengaging. So from this, all the pressure goes onto the spine. So you wanna straighten out, extend up, 
Keep the core tight, draw in the abs and the belly button, and use that core to stabilize as you go through the motion. Okay, as you can tell, uh, for slimmer waistlines, I like using bands. They're great to have good isometric tension on the core, so we do a lot of band work, and this isn't any different. Um, very seriously doubt you've done this before. It's an exercise a lot of people don't do and haven't thought of, but it is a great one to do. Um, Bethany is standing here with her feet together all the way. That's gonna destabilize in the core a lot more. If you do one leg up, you have to have strong knees. So I'll put the disclaimer there that if you do the leg up, driving it backwards, it is a little bit more torque on that knee. So we're gonna keep the feet together for this, this uh, one video's sake. And she's gonna have the outside hand gripping first. The inside hand is over the top. And then the hands stay pretty tight to the body. So it's almost like a snatch up or, or zipping a jacket up. So from here, you're gonna hinge at the hips, back stays straight. She's going forward, a little bit lower, trying to get your back pretty parallel to the ground. The knees are slightly flexed, not too much. And then she's coming back up and she's coming into her chest and pressing straight up to the ceiling. Arms are gonna be pretty straight at this position. It's gonna put the most tension on the abs. The outside obliques are gonna fill it the most. And then she's gonna do that slight rotation over and then back straight again, very slowly. And then back down into that RDL motion. Perfect, just go ahead and do a few more there, Bethany. Keep in constant tension. It's easy to disengage your abs and try to focus on, on working your glutes and working other muscles, but really try to keep the core tight and focus on the obliques on the outer side. Remember the left hand is gripping first and then right hand over the top. When you're facing the other way, it's gonna be right hand and then left over the top of that one. Perfect. Okay, so this exercise I'm sure you're familiar with. It's a pull-off press with just a short little mini twist to it. Uh, the outside hand is gripping first again. So left hand first, right over the left. She's not shrugging the shoulders. She is sitting upright, not slouching. And the knee is below the hip. And the front knee, that left knee, is up and it's in front of the hip as well. So she's got 90 degrees in both knees. That's very important. It's gonna destabilize more and cause more tension on the transverse abdominis. So from this position, you're gonna press out very slowly and hold. We're gonna rotate just a few inches to the side and then back forward again and then back in. And just go ahead and continue that, Bethany. The rotation slightly over is gonna keep tension on the obliques. If you go too far, it's gonna take tension off the band and you won't feel, you'll get a little rest period on the obliques that you're working. Uh, when you extend out, you're gonna start engaging the serratus anterior, which is on the side. Um, and it is just a great exercise to really get your core tight and slimmer by using that transverse abdominis. So don't miss this one, it's a must do. Thanks for watching the video. Make sure you subscribe and, uh, and turn the alert button on. Give me a thumbs up if you don't mind, give Bethany a thumbs up uh, just for helping. And uh, we hope to see you next time. Use this video, use the exercises weekly and, uh, and try to do it multiple times throughout the week. And I promise you will see results with it.